Next, we're going to go through ideation or the request process in Morgadar. Now, as a quick reminder, this is a pre-project idea or request that typically comes from an internal or external client, is entered through a form, and then is routed for business value, is prioritized, might have a mini business case depending on the scope and size of the request, or it might just be quickly moved off to an existing project as a change or an issue or just a task that needs to be done. So let's go through creating your first request and some of these additional features and how they work within WorkOtter. To get started, I'm going to go to the request menu and the first option here is to enter a new request or idea. Now, this will bring up a form. This form can be tailored to nearly any business's needs because these have many user-defined fields which can be enabled on this form. So this is just a small sampling of the available options we have for identifying a request from your internal or external stakeholders. Now, a few conventions on our form. Uh, the forms themselves could have required fields. Those will show up here with the little star next to them. Uh, I'll just enter my new request. Um, the forms have built-in help uh, that an administrator can create help notes that are context sensitive just to your individual business. So that's a very nice to have feature. And you can continue to fill in this form. Once you have the required fields filled in, you can say save and continue. Now this is an optional second step, not everybody will see this, but this is a business value assessment, which is another way of saying it's a scorecard. And each of these criteria can be weighted, and the output of answering these questions could be some empirically derived values that you can then use to compare all of these dissimilar requests with one another. So this is just a small demo sampling of what you might include in your scorecard. You also have your way to type in justification if you wish to. And this can be turned off in the production environment like many of our features. I'll, hit, I'll say save and continue. And now this represents the confirmation page with additional features available to you now that you've entered in this request. So just quickly reviewing, I mean here's where you can delete it if you've changed your mind since it's still a draft. You can attach documents from different file sharing services. You can just quickly add another request. If you've made a mistake or want to change your mind, you can go back into update. If you want to go back into the business value or that scorecard we just looked at, you can click here. Uh, one of my favorite features is the ability to request organizational estimates. When you click here, this pulls up an interactive org chart. Now this is just the demo environment, but if I wanted to send it to the IT directors for their input, and estimates, I could do that by just clicking here. I can then either give it a due date or accept the default two-week due date, say add estimates, and save it. Now when you do that, you're instantly transformed to a little mini business case that's still attached to the request we just entered. And we would have emailed out these requests to each of the managers impacted. And we will remind those managers, should they fail to produce some response by the due date. So it has a lot of built-in interactivity and communications. Okay. Now if you want to update one of these, you can use one of these little icons here to see the form itself. And here's where you can fill in, uh, you know, if there's any revenue or cost savings, for example, or any internal hours that you want to say, or any external hours you want to say. Or you can do non-labor in terms of dollars or financials. So you can just see how easy this is, kind of a back of the envelope, quick estimation tool, which will then begin to fill in by year and by version the mini business case for those few requests that need this type of rigor. Again, completely optional, but something you might choose to explore. Okay, so then there's some routing and workflow built into these requests, right? So if I want to submit it through the front door, this would be to defer it or reject it. I'll go ahead and submit it. And so now we've submitted this and if I want to go see where this has come from and gone to, I can go to that project workflow. And We started here and now we've put it here. So I can click here 
And oh, this is one of those tabular views again that we just were looking at in the basic navigation. A feature that we didn't talk about is being able to do a group by, which is very popular, right? Where if you want to break it down by the requesting org or some other, this will group and organize your data very quickly and easily for you. Okay, here's our new request. I can click on it again. We can go into it and we're right back where we started. Okay, if I want to see the additional workflow capabilities or go ahead and approve this request, I can do that. And now I've got options on how I want to treat this request. Do I want to attach it to an existing project as maybe a scope change or an issue? Or do I want to create a brand new project from this request? And if I want to create a brand new project from this request, I can say continue. This is the project form and just like the request form, it's completely customizable to each client's needs and it copied over the data from the request as a convenience to me. But all the other features we've shared are all the same. I can say save and continue. And now you're looking at, for the first time, the project dashboard, which will be covered in greater depth in the next video.